मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी दिस इज संगीता सक्सेना एडिटर एविएशन एंड डिफेंस यूनिवर्स गेटिंग यू लाइव फ्रॉम सेंटर फॉर जॉइंट वॉरफेयर स्टडीज अ नेम सिनोनिमस विथ थिंकिंग एंड पुटिंग पॉइंट्स इन टू एक्शन फॉर एडवाइजिंग द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ डिफेंस ऑन जॉइंट वॉरफेयर एंड फ्रेंड्स वी आर हेयर दिस मॉर्निंग मीटिंग द डिरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ सेंजोज मेयर जनरल अशोक कुमार Welcome sir to ADU's chat room. Wonderful to have you here. And what is Senjo's all about sir just let our audience know. Uh thank you ma'am very much for giving me this opportunity and especially giving an opportunity to the center of joint warfare studies uh for people to know because I think uh, despite we being little old uh, having been raised in 2007 uh it's time that the entire ecosystem of defense forces knows about this organization uh unlike the other uh, service think tanks uh, which we have in form of cross nmf and caps which have been raised as part of the requirement of individual services we are the only tri services think tank in the country which have been raised a uh, post government of ministers report which was given after kargil uh, review committee report and therefore we uh, reflect the national need uh, nothing could have been you know more apt for today's time than looking at the joint warfare uh, policies and doctrines and time in india has already come when the entire ecosystem has to be changed from the coordinated approach of war fighting to the joint war fighting you would be already aware that the government has already instituted the appointment of chief of defense staff jan bipin rawat was the first one it is sad that we lost him on 8 december 21 now we have the second chief of defense staff and the joint war fighting is being given a total new look altogether I must tell everybody that the focus of the uh, current government, the chief of defence staff and headquarters integrated defence staff, is on jointness, integration, and theatralisation. A lot of inter-services issues are being resolved with uh, consensus approach, and I am quite confident that in the days to come, we will be able to achieve the aim of theatralisation, and joint theatres will get announced. uh invariably people have an impression that was the joint theaters are announced so that will be the end of reform but i must tell you all that you know it is going to be the beginning of uh, reforms and there are going to be more and more reforms which are going to come and we will be able to see a different country with different kind of force level which will be able to checkmate not only the chinese adversarial approach but it's a universal approach in collusion with pakistan as well uh, in fact we are emerging at the regional as well as international level in a big way uh, to project india in its rightful place especially when it is inching forward to become a fully developed nation uh, by 2047 now this was you know generic terms for you all to know about uh, senjos but senjos per se is doing certain activities towards that a uh, one we are giving the policy and doctrinal inputs to the decision makers second on each of thursday we have major lectures being given by subject matter experts on major uh, challenges being faced by the country and we publish its uh, report also on our website we have number of round table discussions seminars and other activities the government of the day as well as the ministry of defense is focused that india must achieve the full state of indigenization uh, whether it is uh, of the individual component or it is related to the mro and towards that uh, all stakeholders are putting their bid but we have also started industry interaction where in a concerned industry can approach us with the challenges they are facing and we with our subject matter experts already posted with us are we hire them from uh, the outside world and make them available to resolve their issues and i am really glad to share with each one of you that today afternoon we have the first such interaction we are also going to uh, bring out lot of changes in the indian defense ecosystem especially in the tri services domain so that the countries not only in our uh, neighborhood 
our extended neighborhood but the world over look towards us with great respect we shall also try to do certain activities where our individual entrepreneurs and manufacturers are given a full say i am happy also to share with the government's approach wherein today uh, on one hand we are looking as uh, to how the defense manufacturers meet our requirement of the defense forces but at the same time also we have an ambitious export uh, target as against being a top importer we have become one of the 25 top exporters in the uh, defense domain today and uh, now government is looking at defense manufacturers in a single way whether it is for own requirement or for exports purpose and all echelons whether they be the dais indian missions the ministries and all stakeholders have been told to assist the indian industry towards that so uh, i am sure uh, in coming days we shall see a lot of positive changes a lot of uh, vibrancy in the defense forces a lot of coordinations the silos will go away and we will be thinking purple not by the uh, physical color but in our all manifestations and the concept of the army navy and air force will seamlessly merge with each other to attain the purple color sir uh, that was wonderful an introduction and uh, at the end of the day sir one understanding which i want to have is that uh, senjos is an organization for joint warfare yes but how do we uh, involve the serving officers into it because at the end of the day it's they who are in the field they are the ones whose demands we comply to we think for them and uh, how do we involve them do we get them on postings to st joe's what is the system sir okay ma'am i think it is a brilliant question uh, i'm sure you would have visited clause nmf and caps if you go to clause you'll find the officers from army posted there in nmf you'll find from navy and in caps you'll find from the air force but uh, you'll be glad to know that in st joe's we have the serving officers of army navy and air force posted besides we have large number of research scholars who you know where people come with currency of their knowledge so we have that the posted and as well as the uh, research flows available with us and then based on the requirement whether it is niche technology is the geopolitical domain or land uh, centric operations or other domains we hire people uh, for our this thing and therefore we are going to uh, have a requisite number of people to uh, man this organization and uh, because of this officers posted there we have a very very intimate relationship with all the service headquarters uh, to interact and we also keep doing their project especially those coming from headquarter ids and nscs and drdo uh, so that we bring in the tri services flavor in our thinking as against the individual service thinking right sir and uh, in the you know when we talk of this uh, sir what generally happens once you have your round tables and you've come to a certain decision do you make some white paper which you send to the government of india ministry of defense or do they just remain in your files uh, no uh, i i must uh, compliment you for asking this you know kind of uh, question uh, there was you know some input from the uh, shipping industry that a lot of things are needed to be sorted out and on the behest of headquarter integrated this uh, defense staff we conducted a round table discussion on the uh, ship building the challenges and the recommendations and whatever we got uh, those inputs were shared by headquarter ideas who enters into the concerned ministry so the the discussions are not theoretical and they don't remain in our files they go to the uh, highest decision making level uh, for uh, with due process uh, to take appropriate call and therefore there is an increased dependence and trust of the uh, various stakeholders on us to provide them the requisite inputs and they know for sure that whatever you know requirements are uh, emerging here they will be processed at appropriate level right sir and uh, so So we now like you said you started with that we now have a chief of defense staff now he is his jurisdiction is all the forces so that makes senjos all the more important with the cds at the helm of affairs 
सर कैन यू टेल अस व्हाट इज द इनपुट यू गिव टू द सीडीएस एंड व्हाट आर द इंस्ट्रक्शंस ही गिव्स टू यू फॉर सेंजोस एक्चुअली बीइंग अ थिंक टैंक फॉर ऑल द थ्री सर्विसेज वेल मैम आई नो दैट्स अगेन वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फेसेट एज यू आर अवेयर दैट हेड क्वार्टर इंटीग्रेटेड डिफेंस स्टाफ इज द इमीडिएट हायर हेरार्की अंडर व्हिच वी फंक्शन which in turn uh, functions under chief of defense staff uh, this is uh, by way of looking only a kind of hierarchical structure but this structure is actually very very flat and there is a regular interaction from cds to headquarter the ids and my level so uh, currently the government is in the process of formulating number of new joint doctrines so we provide inputs on that there are uh, the uh, policies which are required to be uh, formulated again we are there then there are a new way of war fighting how we should do so we provide that input and we also conduct a uh, number of events on behalf of uh, these organizations and also undertake and participate in number of studies by drdo nscs uh, amsb studies by army uh, through artrack and other cadre establishments so we we are you now working in a very very vibrant manner to provide the requisite interface to all the organs to the best of our ability and sir uh, when you talked of uh, indigenization uh, there are two clear in calls by the prime minister atmanirbhar bharat and make it india and india has been doing its bit for it now i wanted to understand sir that uh, how do you involve the industry or which is commensurate the three forces for their uh, manufacturing levels and the maintenance repair overall levels uh, okay ma'am actually when uh, prime minister gave the clarion call for atmanirbharta it was not only related to the defense manufacturing or manufacturing so to say the concept of atmanirbharta you know starts from your concept of the war fighting the way you look at various you know dimensions of your uh, growth organizational growth and manufacturing is one part of the whole thing and therefore you would have realized that there has been lot of studies of late uh, basically to look at kautilya's arthashastra and writings of our other elders uh, from south uh, where state craft was conducted in a particular manner and we we in those times uh, had the state which was geographically larger than the current day india uh, where we managed the uh, state craft in an efficient manner so even that is you know uh, being uh, looked at in uh, detail and uh, but practically there are large number of uh, defense manufacturers who are looking at provision of support uh, of the uh, defense equipment to the defense forces and uh, the government has done uh, two things one it has come out with uh, five uh, positive indigenization list it has also come with now five uh, other such list which are having the list of components and the most most important thing is that these are done in a transparent manner uh, they have created a srijan portal you go on that you find the list of all the items which they want to indigenize including the uh, conducting uh, psu uh, or the uh, nodal psu with the contact number of the people who are dealing with that so that hand holding uh, can be provided they also have a broad timeline in the uh, import list where they have said that beyond a particular year the imports will not take place so that puts a huge challenge but we from our side we are conducting uh, number of seminars with the industry reps to uh, bring down the industry and assist and as i told you from today we have started the industry interaction directly one to one uh, because the requirement of one industry is different than the other somebody is producing gun that industry will have different requirement somebody is producing helicopter they will have different somebody is developing software or no other aspect everybody will have different requirement so just rather you know showcasing them in a seminar model we are going to interact them with them one on one to understand their challenges and do the hand holding and assist and guide them so that the real capability of nation can come to the forefront for the betterment of the defense forces as well as for export uh, market uh, for our friendly foreign countries and so what about the maintenance repair overhaul sir of uh, well uh, <coughs> in fact uh, again i must compliment you to uh, 
bring out this issue because you brought out this with the indigenization but i uh, missed that in my response uh, you would have seen the russia ukraine war or hamas israel war uh, there is not even a single incident where they talk of some you know strategic brilliance operational brilliance or tactical brilliance every time we talk of only the equipment whether it is the tanks lining outside keep the large number of equipment of russians you know uh, getting shot down or vice versa in ukraine same thing is happening in hamas and israel war so it is the equipment which has become mainstay of war fighting and this will be so in our case as well because our uh, entire borders uh, line of actual control is in mountainous and high altitude area and even with pakistan the uh, loc area in jnk is also of a similar profile so the equipment cannot uh, be made efficient unless you have a proficient mro support and mro support is not that you have it in you know uh, bangalore or you know down south it has to be done at a place where during the battle conditions the equipment can be made available and the person the user doesn't have to look back so mro is very very uh, critical and uh, i am glad to share with you that we have uh, recently signed a mou with the maro channel forum uh, for uh, bringing out these thoughts as to how we handle the national challenges currently whether they be uh, for land forces uh, may be in maritime domain or in the uh, aerospace domain so uh, mro is most important and i'm sure now it's time to uh, look at it in fact i will not uh, be wrong to say while we have declared make in india its time has come that we declare maintain in india we have that capacity we have done certain work in the aero uh, domain especially in the civil field but we have the capacity and capability the skill labor force and the intent to do this for anything everything uh, for the uh, world uh, as you are aware man that more than 80 countries which were getting the russian equipment are, are currently in a crisis and that support can be extended by us so we can become a world mro hub and uh, it will be right if you know some day our prime minister declares uh, in addition to make in india maintain in india as our slogan wonderful so that's just the right point and the right slogan to close it it was wonderful speaking with you and i think at the end of the day sir senjos has a very important role to you know uh, ensure that make in india atmanirbharta and like you said maintain in india should happen so sir thank you very much for being on our chat room uh, when we speak with you next i'm sure we'll have more to hear from you thank, thank you, you very much ma'am